Hey guys, YouTube is right on the quick video. Back with my boy Brandon again. Uh, we've been doing a lot of these videos lately. Uh, today we're going to do another one from the House of Kerosene. So a couple of weeks ago we did, uh, which one were they? Um, unknown Pleasures and Blackmail. Yes, uh, Unknown Pleasures and Blackmail. We did a uh, first impressions video. Uh, saw a guy doing a split on another fragrance from the house. This is actually the newest one that just came out. I believe uh, you saw a video. Sebastian, right? Yep. I think talked about it. One, uh, said a few things about it. I haven't had a chance to see that video yet. I didn't want to be too influenced uh, yet before I tried it. But I saw a guy doing a split, and he will sell in the bottle. Uh, I think he had like 20 or 30 mil left in the bottle. Really good price. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll take a chance on it. You know, uh, if it's anything like the, the quality of the first two fragrances from that, that House of Kerosene that I tried, or that we tried, um, it'll be good. And, you know, it'll be my sound of the day. So I'll be able to give you guys an update because I haven't worn anything today yet. So, um... Here is a pouch that the other one, you didn't bring the pouch up, I believe, the last one. So it comes with a cool little, uh, probably too bright for you guys. Let me see if I can shade that for you. There you go. It comes with a little card with some information on there. The notes are sea salt, white florals, cedar, ambergris, and musk. Like high tide, dried on skin, memories of the waves, sun, and shore. Again, like a little cloth bag there with some tassels on it. Uh, released in 2017. Here is the bottle. They all look pretty much the same. Sorry if you guys <laughs> are right in the sun here. So, so it's actually gonna be a first impressions for both of us. Usually, uh, Brandon tries most of them first, and I'm usually the first impression guy. But today, he hasn't tried this one either. So we're gonna go ahead and get a couple of sprays on this test trip and see what it's about. I'll let you go first. I'll spray my arm. Hmm. Whoa. It's like really fresh. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. It kind of smells like. Um, it smells like a pool. Does it? I'm not getting that. I see what you're saying. It doesn't smell bad. It's really fresh, floral. But I'm getting something that kind of reminds me of like a. Gotta be honest with you. It reminds me of like a uh, air freshener, like Glade, you know, potpourri kind of uh, that. But like the fresh. I don't get that seaside smell. I, my mom used to. My mom was a coupon clipper back in the day, and she would buy bottles and bottles of the Glade stuff because you would find them on sale. So she had probably 15 or 20 different varieties or, you know, every single variety of the Glade line. This reminds me of one of them, which is not bad. It just, to me personally, it reminds me of that. But it's salty. It's very salty. Salty, sea salty, ambergris. Um, clean smelling though. Like, like it's very seaside. Yeah. I mean, it's called Walk the Sea. So I got some white like florals. super salty. Yeah. White florals, sea salt. Like it almost smells like chlorine to me. Aquatics. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I, I heard people say that it was kind of dark for a freshie, though. I don't get that. Dark, huh? Yeah, I don't... Have been the dry down or something? I don't know. I mean, ambergris is the main note, or at least if for, for Granica. It had a ton of dislikes on it, though. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I don't know if that's because people just all kind of, you know, group think, you know. <laughs> but it's not awful. I don't, I don't like it so you know, far. Yeah. Yeah, it's not awful. Again, I got a pretty good price on this partial bottle, so it's not going to out the full price. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wearing this today, actually. Um, I'll go ahead and put some on. These have really good sprayers. Yeah, they do. It is a fresh scent, and it is 100 degrees out today, so I will be putting on. I'll be very generous with uh, wearing this one today. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so... Final thoughts or anything on this one? Yeah, I mean, it's salty. It's really light on this test strip. Yeah. Yeah. There's something in it that gives it, like, a bit of a dirtiness. It's, like, clean, Yeah, I get the air freshener thing. That yeah, it's kind of a little bit of dirtiness in it. Like, maybe almost like a vetiver kind of smell um, to give it a little bit of earthiness. But, uh, probably with ambergris. Yeah, probably. I mean, because ambergris, what, isn't that well vomit or something? Yeah. <laughs> so it's natural, uh, but who knows? What it actually smells like. You can probably use a lot. Of, I didn't ever get really expensive. Yeah. Well, and, if it's like high quality or whatever. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if there is an ambergris uh, substitute out there, but if uh, if there is, we'll see. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, I'm wearing this today. I will go ahead and uh, have the luxury of uh, giving you guys an update later on. So until, until then, then, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So it's been a little while and uh, got a chance to test Walk the Sea by Kerosene. Uh, gotta say, I uh, wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, it was okay. Um, you know, it was, uh, like we, like we said before, it was, you know, it was very salty and fresh. 
Um, it was almost very, it's like uh, aquatic uh, kind of uh, feel. Sea salt, uh, freshness. Um, the amber green that was in there was really nice. It was really, really fresh, really, really salty. Uh, if that's the kind of fragrance that you like, then uh, you're probably gonna like this one. Um, but overall, like after a little while, like the opening was very fresh. Like I mentioned in the, in the previous video, it did kind of remind me of one of those Glade air fresheners. Um, and that's just personally me. Like sometimes whenever a fragrance reminds me of something else, it kind of ruins it for me sometimes, or it's, you know, a good scent memory, you know? So sometimes it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, in this case, it reminded me of a Glade air freshener that my mom bought back in the day. It doesn't smell bad. It smells really, really good. It just reminds me of that. It sort of takes away from the composition and sort of takes away from the uniqueness of it for my personal taste, you know? So this fragrance uh, faded pretty quick. I mean, I put it on and you know, I could smell it for the first hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours. After a while, it sort of became uh, really, really close. It didn't project as much off of my skin. Uh, and I, you know, it was almost, uh, it was it was barely noticeable after three or four hours. You know, for the money you're paying to, to, to me, uh, wasn't really worth the uh, funds that I, you know, that someone would pay for this. Overall, it's, it's a good fragrance, uh, but it's not great in my opinion. I do love blackmail. I actually have a bottle of that now, uh, so I don't uh, dislike the house at all. I, I respect John for for his efforts in uh, making some new fragrances. I just sampled Summer of 84, and I, I really like that one. I think that was a limited edition, so I don't know if I'll be able to find that one. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, I do enjoy some some offerings from the house. Just this one didn't seem to last as long as I wanted. From for the money you're paying, it didn't seem to last as long as I wanted. You know, uh, maybe about thirty minutes in, it kind of turned into a different fragrance. I want to say it, it even turned a little. Um, I don't know what to say. Just it just it went away from the opening too much, which was my favorite part. Uh, even though it reminded me of something else. So, guys, thank you guys so much for. Um, for everything yeah for watching uh, for commenting i try to get back to everybody uh, yeah, i have a lot more videos coming out some more first impressions and stuff like that um do some more videos outside maybe just you know whatever, whatever i can whatever i can get my hands on i'll definitely do a video on and let you guys know what i think about them i guess so follow me on instagram dollars and cents please like comment subscribe and uh until the next video you guys take care thanks